lot of you might not know this, but I'm actually a video editor at a production company. So in this video, I want to show you how to go from an editing chaos to a professional and fast workflow. These methods have saved me countless hours and I can't wait to share them with you. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about a well-organized folder structure. A good folder system is the backbone to fast editing. Here's an example of how you can set it up. Start with one main folder for your project. Inside, create subfolders for assets like footage, audio, graphics and exports. The one I created is in German, but it's basically set up like this. By maintaining the structure, you can easily locate your files in Premiere Pro. Plus, once you have a template folder, you can just copy and paste it to each project, which saves you a lot of time. Planning beforehand is super important. Before you even start shooting, make sure you have a solid plan. This includes scripting your videos and planning your shots. It could be a nightmare realizing halfway through the editing that you're missing key scenes. I personally like to use Notion for planning and it's been a game changer for me. It allows me to organize everything, from scripts to shot lists, all in one place. But Notion isn't just for planning shoots, it's a central hub for managing my entire business. In Notion I've created separate pages for my client work, photography projects, YouTube videos, social media planning and even my personal life goals. When it comes to planning my videos, I use a database that lists all my video projects. Each entry in the database links to the dedicated page where I can write my scripts, create a detailed shot list and even set up a filming schedule. Having everything in one place makes the process so much easier and more efficient. If you want to use Notion for yourself, you can sign up through the link in the description. They offer a free plan that's packed with features so you can start organizing your life and projects right away. Another game changer is using templates in Premiere Pro. Creating the file templates that include your folder structure, animation templates and motion graphics can save you a ton of setup time for each new project. Set up a template project with all your frequently used elements. Whether it's an animation or a specific color grade, having these ready means you can focus on your creative work rather than a repetitive set of tasks. Another great tip that really helped me is creating an assets library. I've organized all the assets I've downloaded into one folder, things like sound effects, visual effects, transitions and my YouTube end card. Whenever I start a new project, I can simply go into my asset library and look for the assets I want to use, instead of wasting my time going through old projects. This setup has saved me so much time and keeps my workflow consistent. Keeping your media organized with labels or color coding can also make a huge difference. You can use different colors to categorize your clips, like green for useful clips or red for rejected ones. I personally like to use one color for each camera I'm using, like Sony could be blue, the GoPro footage is yellow and my drone footage is a darker blue. This way I can easily see which camera I was using and color grade right away. Additionally, labeling your clips with your descriptive names helps you find the right footage quickly. And there you have it, my top editing tips for enhancing your workflow and your productivity in Premiere Pro. If you found these tips useful, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials about editing, photography and more creative insights. If you have any more tips you want to share, feel free to write them down in the comments. I would really love to hear about them. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.